on them troubles. Trouble. Thank you for tuning in to the Law Nation Film Session. As we take a quick look at Bryce Butler, first and foremost, this guy showed flashes of, of greatness, believe it or not. His inconsistency shows up time in and time out. Uh, his hands are pretty much just not there. He can come in and out of his breaks pretty good, run decent route, but when the ball touches his body, he just not, he don't catches the ball on a consistent basis. Normally, I say he's a 50-50 guy. Maybe he's like a 60-40 guy. 60% of the chances of the ball falling out of his hand or bouncing off his body or just not on the same page with Dak Prescott. Look at this ball right here. Gets the good release. Ball bounces off his body. He can make the separation, the height, the size, the strength, the speed. He has the uncanny ability to get in and out of his breaks on his, off his release. At the top is a route. He runs pretty decent. But the problem is, is that his level of consistency is so much leaning more so towards the inconsistency. Now, the rule of thumb is, yeah, the ball was a little north of him on his pass, yes. But the rule of thumb, as old adage Jerry uh, Rice would say, ball touch your hand, you're supposed to be able to catch it. Now, uh, even on this route here, of course, the guy's got the speed. And I put this placement more so on, on Dak Prescott. Dak got to learn to step into the pocket and step through his throws and stop uh, throwing off his back foot or throwing in motion as he waved to the left. As we look at this play here, the alley is open for him. I want him to step in through that alley and toss that ball up. Maybe that could have been a... Uh, a celebration of six uh, points on the board now of course we know jerry jones love his stadium but one flaw that i can point out the guy needs some curtains he needs some type of tent or something like that because it's hard to catch through the sun and bryce butler ran a perfect route on his play but he held up a little bit could have been the uh, inconsistency with the sun levels and, and just to throw all together but i saw him held up a little bit on this play now you can't run a better route than this, plus a better touch on the throw than this right here. It's just that his hands are made of butter. Parquet. It's just one of those things, those levels of inconsistencies. It's the reason why he's like third on the uh, wide receiving chart or, or, or just not even a true number one or two because it, he just can't hold on to the ball. Now, as far as his positive, like I said, he showed flashes of greatness, uh, able to just one-on-one, -on -one, he can just catch the ball with his, with his hands, stretch out. Those are things that you want your number one receiver to do. He shows those glimpses every, every now and then in a game. So it's just one of those things where if the game can go, the flow of the game can go positively, as well as if Bryce Butler can just be able to get out and catches the ball with his hands. And he has the one-on-one -on -one coverage. He can catch the ball in the zone, find the soft spots. He can do all those things. But the problem is, is his level of consistency is just so far off. Now, um, we can say maybe he can grow within the system, but no, this guy been in it to the league for a minute now. But size, height, strength, speed, those are things, those intangibles, those things that you just can't just say, hey, I can grow these things off. Uh, off of other players know that's god given talent god given ability and uh hopefully you know he can get acclimated to the system a little bit more and we can flex this thing out now the problem is collectively with the cowboys offense for offensive uh, wide receivers it's just all three of the major receivers on this core inconsistent now leaving on this play here catches the ball with his hand great route on the run but it's one of those things where like i said before des Bryant is not consistent enough terrence williams not consistent enough and then you get put into the mindset of even dak prescott his poise and continuity with these receivers is just not what you would like to see collectively i'm just speaking but is this guy bryce butler the main answer yes if you take account that the fact that they're going to try to still double team Daz. They still have Jason Witten to worry about, and they still have the minds and the thoughts of uh, number 11 running throughout the field. So this was supposed to be the year, the season, that number 19 can shine. Dak roll out, find his target, and bam, there you go. This guy has the separation, the speed, like I said before, to get out to the edges. And what I would like to see for this uh, offense to do with this guy too as well just put him in reverse, put him in sweeps, run him out like this right here. Although uh, he didn't get the, uh, the first down from this play, it keeps the defense honest. 
spread him out they got to take account of his speed he's quick he's fast he got those uh, those elements to his game now the team must learn to utilize those strengths minimize his weakness uh, it's just one of those things guys even on his play here watch how he's able to get open and catches the ball smoothly through his transition <laughs> that's what you want right there guys his ability to catch the ball out in space and have the speed enough to get out and the wherewithal to get out of bounds those are the elements that we want to see out of the game and that's what Bryce Butler will bring to any team now the, the only other thing that I have to uh, say with Bryce is that his limited snaps his limited ability to be out there on the field he has to show up he cannot have these type of hiccups throughout his uh, throughout the game when he steps up believe it or not he makes a major impact to the game as we look at this play here this is against the Kansas City Chiefs the defense is pretty good he catches the ball able to keep the sticks moving those are things that we really want to see throughout the game in and out and he showed up in this game <laughs> was he a major major factor I won't say that to the whole heartily but yes he's one of those guys to keep the defenses honest and as long as uh, we don't have anyone else stepping up on this wide receiver core, we're always going to be scratching our head and saying, who will be the next guy to step it up? That's been my time, guys. I really thank you guys for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Salute. I'm out. Peace.